to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theatre for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the light heavyweight division. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. <laughs> The right hand scored by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. Bone Crusher's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Nice work with the jab by Bone Crusher. Halfway through round number one. Bone Crusher's punch didn't come close. Sound defense. Good block that time by Bone Crusher. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Press guard. Good block. He clinches when he gets to the inside. And he clinches yet again. Beautiful. Scored well with the left downstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Bone Crusher's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. underway. Bone Crusher's jab lands well. Good block by Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Oh. 
not much action as he just ties up. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. More movement. Head That's a nice right hand that time by Bone Crusher. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Well-placed left hand there. Halfway through round number two. Keep it going. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Watch the hook! Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Bone Crusher's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Just missed scoring with that punch. Ten seconds to go in this round. Piercing jab. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive, you know that he had a good round. And round number three is underway. Bone crushers banged by a left hand. Keep moving, get out there. Able to dismiss it. Keep moving. Jump up. Nice. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Let it go! Bone Crusher's able to land a nice, clean left hand. That's it, just like that. Hey, you got and now that they're trading go. blows. Good way to protect the midsection. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. He just got a big shot there. That's a big shot to the body right there. And it's got him down. One, two, three, four, five. So he is 
was able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. There's a nice left hand able to get in. Scored well up top. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. You see him holding on. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. left by Bone Crusher. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Keep working the body. And right, that's the end of round breath. three. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? There you go. Throw punches, okay? Don't walk into him without throwing a punch. Don't worry about it. Get in your rhythm, okay? I want to see more jazz. I want to see more... Bone Crusher's enjoying a big lead here, Teddy, and we talk about this often as we begin round number four, up three to zip on your scorecard. When you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances that maybe weren't in the game plan. And as he takes chances, gets a little reckless, and as you're seeing, gets caught more. You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove to the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. You also have to prove a lot to yourself, though, don't you? Yeah, but you have to remember, that's a good question, but you have to remember this fighter has been there before. So just remember, I have dealt with it before. And then you have to beat David Copperfield. A little bit of a magician, a little smoke and mirrors, and con your opponent. Let him think you're all right. Let him think you even want to fight when really you just want to buy a little time. A lot of people may think he's putting forth a good effort just by throwing. Big, big shot he just scored with. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? This fight is over. Bone Crushers gun down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.